Hello everyone, this is Joe Martin from 360 Works here to talk to you today about Scribe 4. We've added a lot of cool new functionality. The biggest new feature being the ability to do OCR on your flat documents that you couldn't otherwise extract the text from. Scribe now has the ability to analyze a document, extract the text from it, and then store it in FileMaker. Uh, using OCR, which is also known as optical character recognition, which is sort of a machine learning thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's able to just look at a static image, tell what text is on that static image, and then return that text to you. So now you could, you could make these documents or images searchable that otherwise were not. So pretty neat stuff. Let's take a look. Uh, so there's a couple things that you'll need to do first. Scribe utilizes Amazon's service Textract. So in order to do that, you'll need to you'll need to set up an AWS account, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then there also are some additional resources in Amazon that you'll need to set up to sort of utilize this Textract service properly. Now, instead of having to go through and set those all up manually, we're going to provide you with a cloud formation template, which allows you to essentially just you just click a button and then we go in and we set up all of those resources for you. So that's it's pretty nice and convenient. At the end of that process, at the end of setting up all those resources, uh, we are going to generate some AWS keys for you to use that will that will uh, enable you to use the TechStrack service and all of these other services that we've set up. And the nice thing about these generated keys is that they have really tightly scoped permissions. So you are going to need to store these keys in your database. And if there is, you know, if there is such an attacker that's able to get into your database and get access to these keys, the only thing they'd be able to do is use your text track service. So it's pretty secure to use these. It's pretty safe to sort of have these out in the open. And that's why we wanted to do it. So you're not exposing your root Amazon keys to uh, your database, to your users. Um, you, you have these really tightly scoped keys that you use. So once you have all that stuff set up, your Amazon account, your uh, Amazon resources set up, and your, and your generated AWS keys, then we can go ahead and start to Textract. So the first thing we need to do is set up an AWS account. And if you already have one, you can probably skip this part. But if you go to Google and you just Google how to create an AWS account, the first hit should be a nice little guide on how to do this. Personally, I like a text guide, something that I can follow along and pause. Easy to, easy to sort of follow along, but they also have a nice little video that will walk you through it. Um, and this whole process should take you about five minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer if it's your first time doing it. So once you have your AWS account set up and you're able to log into your AWS management console, you'll see a screen that looks like this. So get logged in here, and then we are going to deploy our CloudFormation template. So if you come to the demo file that we've put out, you come to the plugin docs tab and the CF deployment. Um, if you look in step one, we've got our launch URL here. If you go ahead and click that, that is going to open up our scribe OCR stack, which is our cloud formation template. And there are you, you do have some opportunities to sort of change some settings here, but honestly, just, just go with the defaults. The defaults here are all you need. Um, so you can click next through these screens. The one thing that you'll have to do here is down at the bottom here, we'll need to just check the box acknowledging that we are going to create a user, those, those access keys that I was talking about previously. Uh, Amazon just wants you to be fully aware that those are being created. So once this stack is launched, we'll see that all of our resources are being created, our, our, our queue, our bucket, our user, our role. Um, a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to speed this up here so that we don't have to wait, but this does take a couple minutes. And at the end, we'll get a create complete message, and uh, our stack is complete. Everything has been deployed. So let's go over to the outputs tab here, and we'll see our access key and our secret key. These, this is what we'll use, what we'll store in FileMaker. And so let's, let's look at how to do that here. Now, 
I'm just going to back up for just one second. Let's say you deployed the stack and then you, you walked away. Um, <clears throat> if you need to get back to that screen right there, come to your log into your AWS management console and in the find services section, you can just search for cloud formation. And there is the OCR stack that we deployed. If you click on that and then you come to outputs, you'll see the access key and the secret key there. So let's go ahead and store these in FileMaker because this is what Scribe will use to text And um, like I said earlier, these are those tightly scoped keys, this, the, the keys with the tightly scoped permissions so that it's pretty safe to have these stored in the database. So now that we've got our AWS account, we've got our CloudFormation template deployed, and we've got our AWS keys stored in FileMaker, we're ready to text extract. So I've got a document here um, with just some text. This is a static image. You're not able to like highlight, you know, no, no, uh, we can't highlight the text here or extract the text otherwise. Um, and this is really the easy part. So we're just gonna upload this document to Amazon the document, this, this will take a couple minutes to get processed. So part of, I, and, I, and I click the download button immediately and I'm kind of speeding this part up here, but um, when, you, when you click the download button, we actually enter a loop where we're polling Amazon, checking if this document is ready every couple of seconds. And we sort of ask Amazon if it's ready every couple of seconds. And then when it's finally ready, we're able to pull down the results. And now we get two, we get this result in, in two forms. We get both a JSON response, which, which describes the position of the words on that document that we've, that we've detected. You can see we get like X and Y coordinates for, for, all, of these, for all of these words. And we also get a plain text response which is just the, you know, just the, just the plain words that are on the document that were extracted, which I think is what most people will, will wind up using. So some other considerations you'll have, I think, when, when using Textract um, is, uh, so there are some limits. I doubt we'll run into these, like the maximum PDF file size is 500 megabytes or the maximum number of pages is 3,000. Um, but some, some, something you will want to consider is, is pricing. So you, when you're using Textract, it's going to cost about $1.50 per 1,000 pages that you run through Textract. Now, I think that's, that's pretty affordable. Um, but, and, and that's for the plain, just, um, just the, just, just the text extraction part, just pulling the text out of the document. Uh, that is what Scribe does by default. That is the, that's the default approach Scribe takes. If you do the more complex analysis with Scribe, now you actually have to pass in some additional parameters. You have to pass in a, a, a simple equals false parameter to get this more complex analysis to trigger. That costs a little bit more money as well. So you'll see here per a thousand pages, it costs about $15. So we've actually gone up by like an order of magnitude in price. Uh, if you want to get the, the table and the key value pair analysis. Uh, so I think most people will just stick with the, the, the text detection because, you know, I think, I think the biggest benefit here is just being able to search your documents that you were previously unable to search. Um, and I think there, th there'll be some cases where people need to actually look at uh, a t the, the table data in, in AWS uh, as AWS Textract presents it. But um, I think most people will just want the plain text response. Um, so that's, that's Textract in a nutshell. I really hope you guys like it. And if you have any problems, please feel free to reach out to our support. Otherwise, enjoy. Thanks.